generation hate women when men are like oh why do I have to pay for her stuff why do I have to provide for her you are paying for a queen that's who you're paying for if you had a daughter wouldn't you want your daughter to have the best treatment and the best life possible for her husband or the man that she's willing to provide that to her a lot of men in this generation are not ready to be with a real woman they're ready to be with pygmies. Oh yeah, um, I, I just want to spend time with you. Whatever you want. We'll go 50-50. It doesn't matter. I'm an independent woman. I'm an independent woman and I want to be provided for. And I want my man to buy me nice gifts to protect and provide to the best of his abilities. Guys in this generation hate women. They do. I don't know if they're jealous of women. I don't know if they want to be women. You want to be treated like women because you're the one that wants to do the 50-50. You're the one that wants to be treated like you should be treating her. I repeat, stay away from the dusties. This man should not be in your presence. Because if they don't want to pay and treat you like they deserve you, what is the point? Don't waste your time. Shut up, bitch. See, it's women like this that's going to keep a lot of women single. Let me tell y'all something, ladies. Do y'all realize that three-fourths of the household have two incomes? Which usually implies that both adults are working. This is the economy that we live in. This is what happened when women entered the workforce. Because y'all wanted your own money. Y'all wanted your own bank accounts. Y'all wanted your own credit. Y'all got everything y'all asked for, and now all of a sudden, y'all want to roll back the clock. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit like, up. It's too late now. Y'all heard it. When it comes down to it, that's the reason why y'all get so much pushback from men. Because men keep, we keep explaining the numbers to you and letting y'all understand, like, okay, look, you can want what you want, but understand that you have a small pool to choose from. And also understand that these men understand why you're targeting them specifically. So that gives them even more leverage than they already have simply because you're trying to date up. You must unlearn what you have learned. So no, men don't hate you just because we, we talk 50, 50, 50. I'm like, men are just more realistic than women. Y'all live in delusion. Men live in reality especially in the United States. What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Ron, back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, hope you subscribe. I wanna show you this video of a brother who got turned down because a woman was asking how much money he made and he didn't wanna tell her, man. And, but he handled it like a gentleman, man. Check this out. Proceed okay. and continue. Yeah, let's hear it. Okay, okay. question, yeah. <clears throat> so first off, um, you said you're in accounting, finance? Yeah, I said I'm a professional What's accountant. your approximate salary? What? You want to know how much I make? Mm -hmm. Approximate. Bruh. Oh, wow. Just I mean, an approximate. I know I, it's the internet, so you don't have to say the specifics, yeah, but like a I'm, range. Just a range. I mean, you can probably go and Google on Glassdoor. I'm not going to reveal my my finances in a public <laughs> setting in this, in this manner. I just, it's a private matter. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, <laughs> so, so you're asking me, so if it was above the number you wanted, you would have kept it. If it was below the number you wanted, you would have popped it. If you had answered, there would have been a possibility for both, but because you refused to answer, you that's know how much what I got made. your balloon popped. So because, oh, so it's a money team. That's okay. You should have popped it earlier. You should have popped it earlier. Yeah, I, pre I prefer people who don't look at money as a criteria to get to know somebody who do that's why she popped it well i prefer a provider type and who i know if i like you if we continue to date and marry i want to be able to make sure that you can provide for me and our future children their college education and anything else that they need so that they never have to worry about finances or money ever mm -hmm. yeah that's okay when i when i look at somebody money's not the first thing that crossed my mind so it's okay that you popped your thing that's okay all right Okay. Thank you. And, and These women are going to end up being single and alone. I'm telling you right now. 
he's an accountant. Accountants make good money. Okay, first of all. Second of all, that was extremely rude. I mean, to ask that question at all, period, but it's on a whole nother level when you ask him in that setting. So just like he said, yeah, um, yeah, I'm not going to do that in this public setting. That's not cool. And then you see how she tried to shame him for not telling her, oh, well, if you would have told, if you would have just answered the question, um, you would have got either, either one, but because you didn't answer, it got popped. That is bullshit. Translation. He was correct in his assessment of why you popped it. Because we both know that you wouldn't have popped that damn balloon if the number was more than what you had in your head that you wanted. So let's not play stupid, my dear. All right. Got the cap. On to the next clip. So the girlies might eat me up for this, but I'm going to say it anyways. I'm going to say what I got to say. I'll never understand the girlies who care solely about money. Like, it's just money, money, money. This dude could be ugly. Excuse me. No one's ugly. But a dude could man, like, you know the medium ugly dudes type vibe. But if they stinking rich, oh, y'all gonna speed up after him. Like, y'all got me dropping my shit. I'm mad. My problem is with the, like, the ladies in this generation is that not only do they want money, but they want love, they want attention, they want to be cared for, they want A, B, C, D, E. But if all you're talking about is, oh, I want a rich man, I want a man who give me this and that, and I want athletes, and I want rappers, and then you crying when you get cheated on, you crying because you're not looking for, you're not looking for the little things in life. Like, my thing is, why can't women just get with a man that they genuinely like genuinely love for them and then once they have that support which is you which is you lady which is you be that backbone when no one else is there for them then they get rich then you'll grow up with them and get money with them but no no you ladies don't want to put in the work for a little bit of time Play your part for a little bit of time and see how much money you can. Money, love, good, the whole nine. Like you will get treated once you show a man that you're not just there for that. That'll come later. But y'all don't want to wait till that long. Y'all want it now. Y'all want to get treated like everybody else. Then y'all come on the apps crying, talking about stuff. Oh my God, he played me like he pays for my rent. He do this, he do that. But does he love you? Does he give you attention? Does he give you atten attentiveness? Does he love you for you? Has he? Does he call you beautiful when you wake up? No, but he's like, here's five hundred dollars, go shopping, and you're satisfied with that. Y'all make me so angry. I'm so disappointed. The ladies that do have a great good man with them, it's because they waited for that. They waited for his success. Y'all don't be out here waiting for no one's stories. Like, I don't. You get treated. You get treated with what you're looking for, for real. Don't be going to a rich man for money, for his career, for his scams, for his everything. And then you're going to be left in the dust because all you wanted was paper. Oh, And don't be in the comments talking about some, oh, I did that and he still left. Go talk to his friend then. Talk to someone who appreciated them. The world's not over. Who benefits more in marriage, man or woman? I think there's no benefit for a man, unfortunately, in the Western way of marriage. I think it's so sickening that, you know, we have this agreement that women, when they divorce a man, they can just leave with a lot of his money or expect alimony for the rest of their life. And one of the things I always ask women is, are you going to have sex with him after you divorce for the rest of your life? And she's like, why would I do that? I was like, then why do you expect payment for the rest of your life? Now, it's so strange that they want the perks and the lifestyle of the one that they attained from jumping on the back of their husband after the divorce yet they wouldn't give anything after the divorce they didn't even give a lot of that during the marriage let alone after so I feel like it's a, a really it's almost a culture of creating sadistic women by pushing that kind of you get half after the divorce and they seem to say well you know a, a lot of the excuses oh but I wasted like, so many years being dedicated to him I wasted but you both wasted it 
that's a that's a risk you take. You he also wasted many years being investing in you, and he could have been investing in lots of other people. So I just think that this. Uh, that's why I would be as a man living in the West, unless it's for religious reasons. I wouldn't recommend you getting married if you're religious, absolutely. But if you're non-religious and or your wife is put, or your girlfriend is putting pressure on you, ask her why. Ask her why, because a lot of them see it as a life insurance for after they get divorced, they still have a payment plan. Mm. But this is the extremities. This is not the average woman. I would say this is more the extremities. But unfortunately, that is becoming the culture. Uh, but unfortunately, that pretty much goes for average men as well, because once kids are involved, even those guys are getting screwed most of the time as well. So it it it. Yeah, it trickles down to the everyday average guy, too, because I know this is probably more like an elitist conversation where she, she's referring to like top 10, 20, top 10, top 20 percent. But yeah, but damn, I never really thought about that. You know, looking at it from the way she said it, imagine you having to fork out money to a chick you no longer have sexual access to, man. That's tough. <laughs> Let's keep it moving. I'm taking time out of my schedule because I'm a very busy woman. But they're busy too. A hundred percent. Nobody said you're not busy, but I'm not like, I'm not devaluing a man for what he Absolutely does. But not. I'm just also yeah. trying to share the light on the yeah. value of what a woman brings because exactly. it sounds like you're not understanding. But it's not, not as much as a man's. It does not as much as well, a man's. To you, to you, to you, because you are speaking from a very, very masculine perspective. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Or maybe second. you just never met yeah. a woman. Do most men? No, 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 no. Because I'm gonna prove you guys wrong right fucking Go now. Go ahead. Do you decline most men that come up to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm open to conversation. <laughs> but do you decline no, most men romantically that approach you? Be honest. Yeah. So are you picky? Mm -hmm. I am very mm -hmm. picky. So then by definition, you have high standards, right? I do have high standards. You okay. triggered my trap card! Great. You just fucked up. <laughs> <this now. laughs> because if you have high standards and most men you, uh, you decline, by definition, that means the man that you want is rare, correct? Absolutely. Yes. That means that you have high standards, he's rare, which means you are not as rare as him. You know, I find it funny that you ladies come out here and complain about men that are mid and average. Oh, this man was mid. When you are literally the pinnacle definition of mid. You are white sliced bread mid. Uh, how do you feel about it? Eh, it's okay. You talk mid, you act mid, you do mid things, you go to mid brunches with your friends, you look mid, all the mid things, that's you. And yet here you are, the nerve you have to complain about a guy that's out here that's average, a nice average hard working dude out here, a good man by the way, you guys all say you want good men, but they're mid, now all of a sudden he's mid. He gave me the ick. <laughs> And you thought you're gonna get a guy up here to commit to you? Oh, they'll deal with you, they'll play with you. They'll shablaka blaka, chaka chaka you. That's it. It's fun time. Because they could do that down here and they'll go up too. They do the same thing. But are they committing to you? You think you deserve more than a mid man? You'd be lucky to get a mid man. Average. That's what most people are here. Average. Good quality guys. Average. But yeah, he's mid. He gives you the ick. Give me a break. Yeah, like Shorty in that Fresh and Fit clip. She was mid as French toast. Let's keep it moving, man. Do you see yourself getting married? I do see myself getting married because I grew up in marriage. My grandparents have been married for 53 years. My mom is married. Both of my uncles are married. But I'm growing up in a different climate. I'm intelligent enough to know that the options that are potential wives are severely reduced. That's why it's so difficult for me to even get in a relationship at this point, because it's extremely difficult for me to find a woman who I feel is worth committing to. That woman has to meet a lot of criteria for me to commit to. I can deal with you. I can hang out with you. We can fuck. But if I don't feel that I'm comfortable enough giving you my heart, I have to feel safe with you having my heart. If I don't feel safe with you having my heart, 
you're not going to get commitment. And I just can't trust most women with my heart. If our values don't align, if you don't have a personality to where you're more introverted, you're agreeable, you're low in neuroticism, you're highly conscientious, that makes you dutiful as a wife, you can't be with me. And what I think people need to understand, especially women, when he says, I need to be able to feel safe with giving you my heart. In other words, I need to be comfortable being vulnerable with you i need to know that you're not gonna throw me under the bus if you know push come to shove and you know we don't work out or you know we, you keep things between us and you never make me look bad no matter what you know what i mean now not to say that you can't call me out on my shit but at the same time as long as it's nothing like outside of like something like crazy like keep things between us and don't make me look bad but i gotta agree with him man because i'm 38 um parents were together for almost 47 years before my father passed this past summer and i can tell you i can only wish and hope and pray that i can find that same kind of success in marriage and that same longevity uh, but yeah, um, as far as what to pick from, it's slim pickings out here, bro. It really is, man. Especially in this climate of the dating culture, man, that we have in the United States. Y'all let, well, excuse me, these states, <clears throat> as you guys know, I don't call it United States anymore. I went over that in my live show the other night. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplugged Traveler link is in the description as well as my latest mixtape, Neo Trap Volume 2. And if you want to purchase any other merch, Spreadshot.com link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.